you are standing next to one of the world's largest churches, the mighty Cologne Cathedral. The cathedral, or Kölner Dom as it is known in Germany, is an old Roman Catholic church dating back to the mid-13th century. The cathedral has been classified as a world heritage site, with the motivation that it is an exceptional work of human creative genius. When looking upon the building, it is pretty easy to accept this motivation. This wonderful building wasn't created overnight though. The construction of the cathedral began in the year 1248, when the foundation stone was laid by the reigning archbishop Konrad von Hochenstaden. The eastern part of the church was consecrated in 1322, and a temporary wall towards the western part was set up. This was a common method when building larger churches, as it allowed the main hall of the church to be used even though the facade hadn't been completed. In the mid 14th century, construction of the western part and the facade began. This work was halted in 1473, which left the southern tower halfway done with the construction crane still left on top. This became somewhat of a landmark for Cologne and remained for another 400 years. Work on the facade began again in 1842 when the original plans were rediscovered and money was raised by the Prussian state and the people in a joint effort. The total cost of this last part of the construction phase is estimated to an equivalent of $1 billion. The cathedral was completed in 1880 and celebrated as a national event under the presence of Kaiser Wilhelm I. The cathedral was actually the tallest building in the world once it was completed, but only remained so for four years, until the Washington Monument was raised and beat it by four meters. However, the cathedral can still boast about having the largest church facade in the world and being the tallest Gothic building in the world. The cathedral also houses the largest functioning free-swinging church bell in the world, the St. Peter's Bell which weighs a massive 24 ton. The interior of the cathedral is also massive. The space inside it is the equivalent of over 600 houses. When looking at the cathedral, one thing is pretty evident. The towers, the pillars and all the decorations on the cathedral all point upwards towards the sky. This is a symbol for trying to reach up to heaven which is a typical sign of Gothic architecture. Another typical sign of Gothic architecture is that when looking at the cathedral from above, it forms the shape of a Catholic cross. During the Second World War, the cathedral was hit during Allied bomb raids. The cathedral survived the bombing, but became surrounded by a city in ruins. After the war, the cathedral underwent major reparations, which finished in 1956. Smaller reparations and maintenance work is continuously being performed. While the repair work and the maintenance is staying true to the original architecture of the cathedral, it saw a change in 2007, when the glass in the south transept window was changed. The original window had been blown out during the Second World War and had up until 2007 been temporarily replaced with plain glass. Today, the space is filled with a colorful pixel-based window which has been designed using a computer. The chosen design did however cause much controversy. For example, the Archbishop of the Cathedral himself did not attend the unveiling of the new window as an act of protest. The cathedral was raised in dedication to St. Peter and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Another important reason for constructing this massive building was to house the sarcophagus of the Magi. 
This great sarcophagus is from the 13th century and is thought to hold the remains of the three wise men. It is considered to be the largest reliquary in the western world.